I took the, one of the scariest, most profound hikes of my life last weekend. So my dogs and I went out to Apache land here in Phoenix, Arizona. I've been here four months with my family from uh, San Francisco. And I went out to this land with the intention of doing a healing rit ritual on the sexual abuse of my past. Now, sexual abuse, I could do a whole video on this, is can, can really cause deep-seated trauma, not can, but does. Um, darkness like i the shadow side of my sexuality there's been a shadow side uh i've hidden it and um suppressed it for a long time but it's time i'm now working on releasing it so that i can be free so i went out and to this desert the apache land with my dogs with that intention of doing a ritual of deep forgiveness deep forgiveness of my abusers and releasing any dark shadow energy with my sexuality. So we went off trail and um, I won't go, there's, there's a lot more to this that's probably like not gonna be great on a video, but I'm gonna give you the, um, the, the G version. So I went off trail and I'm doing a um, ritual of I'm calling in the land and I'm calling in my guides and I'm asking God and I'm asking the, my guides to release any of this sexual dark trauma, anything that's keeping me from being free. And then I go into a deep, deep, deep prayer of forgiveness and of release, forgiveness that I would my, to myself for allowing my soul to get t tangled up in that. And like, cause I, you know, it's like the shame blame game, right? And then uh, having a deep prayer of forgiveness towards um, my abusers. And I'm in this for about 10 minutes. And that's when I heard her. I heard the rattlesnake. The rattle was, she was, it was loud. The tail was going, she was hissing. And I turn around and about 20 feet from where I was, was this rattlesnake and she was standing up. She was like coiled, but it's like, you know, like a cobra stance like that, like, so she was coiled, but like standing up and she was hissing loud and she was rattling even louder. Woo! Cause I, literally was shaking. I got my dogs and I got out of there. I can still see her. She's just like, oh my God. She was kind of like half under this tree. Um, so uh, we got out of there and then I, I, I went out and, 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 you know, composed myself. And here's my takeaway with this. This is one of my, the most powerful spiritual experiences that I've ever had. And I have done ayahuasca, I have done um, lots of different uh, plant medicines, psilocybin, sassafras. I mean, I seek out um, wachuma, I seek out ritual, right? I seek out so I can sit in medicine and have these experiences. I did not need medicine with this experience in that way, like drinking medicine or taking medicine. Uh, Boof of toad as well. Like I I really love meeting myself in that way. So, but this was profound. Top two, three. Um, so my big takeaway with of that was this. In shamanism, you know, the shamans, the Native Americans, they rattle. In shamanism, they rattle. The shaman will rattle to cast out darkness. They will rattle to remove anything in your field that does not belong there. They go in between the worlds to go up against the dark. It's one of the tools as the shaman and the loud hissing. It was so tribal and so shamanic. So here's my takeaway that she came in right at the right moment. She stood up with me. She rattled her tail. She was helping me cast out the dark. And in it, it, the snake, you know, represents transformation, right? Like shedding the old, shedding the skin, the Kundalini sexual energy too, right? In other traditions, there's that. And she was standing up proud, loud, fierce, protective. 
she was protecting me. I know that. And I know that she came and she cast out like so much darkness, like so much darkness. The, the way I feel now, it's like, I feel like I'm back to myself again or a new self. So here's my takeaway. Here's my takeaway. One, okay, yes, I was scared, literally shitless. I was so scared, you guys, but you all, y'all, I was so scared. Um, but she is with me now. She like really helped me do what I couldn't do myself. Like she really helped me. And um, here's my th takeaway though. Here's what I wanna share this with you. When we ask nature, we ask God, the divine, the elements. When we get fucking humble, I was on my knees, on the ground, asking, begging for support. We will receive it. Whatever it is that you're going through, small, big, whatever, get humble, get on your knees. You don't have to go out in the desert and meet a snake like I did, but there are other ways to ask the earth spirits, to ask God to surrender to your pain, to surrender to your blocks, to surrender. And guess what? The, the support will show up. It may not show up in that moment like it happened with me, but it will show up. Keep getting humble. Keep surrendering. Keep asking. Here we are. We are entering into the portals of time right now. They are available for deep awakening. I'm so bored with my old trauma. Like, I'm not even kidding. I was getting bored with holding all this back and I got humble and real. The excitement is in the awakening. So I invite you to get on your knees, preferably out in nature and surrender. Ask for the help from the divine, from your guides, from God, from the angels. Miracles will happen. I was having a pretty intense health issue at that time last weekend, actually on the way to the doctor right now. And I heard from the desert, it's gonna stop now. And it pretty much has. It really pretty much has. So get humble, get on your knees and let's do this. The more of us that are stepping into the portals of awakening, it's going to help your family, your friends, and most importantly, well, not most importantly, it's all important, the world, the consciousness of the world. We get to move through all this because sexual trauma is the lowest freaking common denominator. It's dark. But if you are holding any of that, get on your knees and ask for it to fully, fully, fully be removed so we can move into awakening and move into the light. Because sexual energy is like, it's, it's connection, connection to God. Okay. All right. My name is Beth Osmer. I hope that you received something from this video. I would love to hear from you. You can write me in the email and I will see you on the next video.